welcome to my youtube channel today i have an easy straightforward tutorial for you guys um it's gonna be these little crystal rhinestone pendants i have a cross here and i have an ankh one is super easy it only takes about like 10 bucks and the inexpensive it's really fast it's really easy it's cheap it's quick all that good stuff and it looks good and i just have them laying on some rhinestone cup chain so i'm going to show you guys how to get these pendants how to get the look so stay tuned. so for this video you're going to need some scissors i have a big pair and a small pair small pairs to get into the nooks and crannies e6000 glue tape clear vinyl tweezers Two different size rhinestone chain. Um, I'm gonna use the big rhinestones to make the ankh, and then the smaller rhinestones to make a bail for it. Okay. You're gonna need a printout of an ankh on a piece of paper, and I think I mentioned tweezers. Your charm should come out looking something like this. First thing you wanna do is you wanna take your piece of vinyl, you wanna take a piece of paper, and we are going to tape face down the ox to the vinyl. We're gonna flip that over, and we're just gonna sit this to the side. So next, we're gonna cut our crystals off the chain. So we're just gonna go through and cut them one by one. I forgot to mention this, but it is a stone picker upper it helps pick up the diamonds I'm gonna lay the glue just right over the like I'm gonna basically trace it with glue so I'm gonna start at the bottom first and I'm just gonna you can either take your picker upper or your tweezers and I'm just gonna glue it down And since this has a side, you can kind of like go in and straighten it. So I'm just gonna go in. So this is something like what you should get. And you can just set this to the side to dry for about an hour. While that is setting, I'm just gonna take like I can just go right off the bottom of this and take a little piece off. And we are going to now make the bail. So basically what I'm gonna do, sis, is half of your index finger. Because we need to see how wide the crystals are. Because that's what we're gluing it on. So like even half of this, sis. Fold this in half. Just add a little glue. And just Put something heavy on it and let it sit. And I just let this sit for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna put a candle on it. I'm gonna let that set for like 15 to 20 minutes. So now what we're gonna do is 
We are going to take the little looped bell piece. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, it has the little loop. Like you can stick something through it. And we're just gonna lay these small rhinestones all on top. Just add some glue to it, the perimeter, the outside. So once you've got it, you can kind of just lay it down. And I wanted to do it on something colorful to show you guys that I didn't go all the way down. I just put like one, two, three, four, five, five. And I left a little room at the end so I'll be able to glue that to that. So I'm just gonna let it dry on its side. What we are gonna do is we are going to take, peel the piece of paper off the back of, ooh. And we are going to cut the ankh out. I have a pair of little scissors and so it'd be easier to get into the grooves for this, so I'm gonna cut it out. This is optional, you don't need it, but I have a hole puncher, so I'm gonna punch a hole in the middle. That way I can get in there and cut all the plastic out on the inside. now that you have it there are some spaces that are kind of like weak and I'm just gonna go back in and fill those in with glue so I'm just gonna I'm gonna just let this set for a good 20 minutes. You just wanna put something heavy on top of it and let it set, so. Here I have like a candle. I'm just gonna put that on top. Now that these have set a little bit, what we're gonna do is just add some glue to the end piece of the bale. See how there's this little space right here? We're just gonna put a dollop of glue right there on that puppy like that. Let's sit this candle back. All you're gonna do is take your looped little necklace charm and feed it through. And now you have your own little diamond necklace with a matching rhinestone. I mean, your own. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate all the new subscribers, all the new subbies, hi. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video and most importantly, try this out, girl. Try this out. Like, it's only gonna be like 10 to 12 bucks. If you use a coupon to get the, the, the chain, then you need just like a tube of glue and some, a piece of vinyl, essentially. Like, that's all you really need, so. You know try this out um let me know how it comes out for you if you do try it i would love to see your guys's versions of this and just let me know and um you can follow me on all social media at bobo's daughter that way you can stay connected you can see when i start doing giveaway and i will post the link to my etsy shop below because i have a few of these onks left that i've made to sell and also you know going to be added to this 
channel is more self-care videos too so i'm thinking about doing a video on um how to do like a sexy spiritual bath let me know if you want to see. I'm going to show you what these look like. So you can see how they glisten. They look all good and stuff. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Bye, 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 bye.